Hello, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo um, here with the uh, Class 1 tooth preparation on number 19. And uh, let's start by outlining the primary anatomy of the central groove. It looks kind of like an M shape. Uh, then we're going to have uh, a couple of uh, dovetails. We'll put one in here. Uh, we'll put one on the mesial aspect here. So you got the distal aspect, mesial aspect. Um, and toward the lingual groove and of course the mesial buccal groove. So you've got the distal groove a little bit going into this area. That's our outline preparation today. Um, let's get right to it again as we explained in class. Make sure you're on the second notch. I put you right about a four. I got a 699 bird. That's the smallest diameter. I'm going to go over my suction. And basically, the the lingual or the central pit is already deeper than all the other pits. So let's start out by just going in a little ways. Oh, maybe about a millimeter, millimeter and a quarter, which will put you right about uh, not quite half the distance of the burr. All right. Let's drop the next one down. Now you're kind of going up along a ridge area here, staying consistent with the depths. And I'm using a pencil grip, keeping my burr parallel to the long axis of the tooth. Straight in. And you can even take a periodontal probe and just mark them. Mark the depths. Make sure you've got even depths on all. Because you want your pulpal floor to be even. Okay. So there are my four depth cuts. Now I'm just going to start to connect the dots as I've done earlier and other videos so we'll just go to the depth and move let the let the bird do the cutting all right I'll come up this way I'm not going straight across I'm just actually just connecting the dots so it's going to turn out to be a, the shape of an M Okay, so I'm not pushing vertically anymore. I'm just coming laterally and I want to come straight toward if I can toward my depth cut. And don't forget this is a tapered burr. So try to make sure you maintain and you lock your wrists and fingers so now I'm going to develop the dovetail. You don't want to deviate. Um, just pull it. Let the bird do the cutting. All right. Eh, maybe a little bit more buckly. That's my distal dovetail finished. I'm going to go right into my lingual groove. Pull it about halfway. And we'll stop there. Come up to my mesial buckle groove. And we'll pull that one. And I want to keep my floor about the same depth. and the distal groove. And then finally this little groove that goes toward the distal. Alright, so this is mesial, excuse me, this is your distal aspect. I don't want to get them mixed up with each other. It's tooth number 19, this is the mesial aspect going toward the midline of the arch. So there's my basic outline. I'm going to switch now to my 556. Use my wrench. I'm going to hold the I'm going to hold this button in when I'm changing my burrs. So that gets held in. This gets undone. The burr comes flying out of that. We'll put the 556 now that we know we're going to have straight 
ability to cut straight. Again, I like to put the burr in to right about where it starts to taper. For me, that's I'm comfortable with that. I'm going to hold this button as I just snug it a little bit, not too tight. Turn my motor on to number four again. Come right back in. Now this is where you really want to lock your wrist and your fingers so you don't deviate. So go in. You'll feel the base start to cut now. And just go straight in. We'll parallel with the long axis. Again, straight in. Straight in here. Now the focus is just getting just getting everything uniform and smooth. Alright. Almost finished with our class one. Um, you can now go in and actually start to round some of these little line angles and wall areas on the wall. So I'll start working on this one a little bit. Staying again parallel right in here just where the these little elbow areas are and just keep working on it takes a lot of practice those of you who have the uh, the kit you know you'll have uh, six teeth in which to work on uh, any reordering of teeth just let me know I'll be able to get them through the company for you keep you practicing um, but basically it's uniform thickness throughout you can measure that with your periodontal probe it should be 1.5 millimeters in depth um, you can also use the measurement of the burr itself this burr is three millimeters in length, so half the distance of three millimeters is 1.5. So if you turn your machine off and just go in and measure that, you'll see it's exactly half the distance. All right, you can also drag it through there and just kind of feel where is it binding. You know, I, I said we should round things, and, and it's important to make uniformity. So like this little corner here, that one can be rounded and smooth and when you're done um, you're done all right this is dr jerry cuomo with the class one tooth preparation design on tooth number 19 lower first permanent mandibular left uh, molar take care and keep practicing we'll see you in class